want to supercharge your content creation workflows with AI, in this quick tutorial we'll show you how to leverage NADN and AI to automatically generate an endless stream of trendy content ideas and scripts for your social media. Whether you're looking for viral YouTube video topics or engaging social media post ideas, this automation will keep your content fresh, relevant and save you hours of brainstorming. If you are new to NADN, it's a powerful open source workflow automation tool, a free self-hosted alternative to Zapier that lets you connect apps and automate tasks. Check out our dedicated platform overview for the full breakdown, link in the description. To start using NATN, you can use their cloud version starting at 20 euros per month with annual plans at NATN.io or self-deploy it yourself by following the instructions on their documentation. For an even simpler installation process, you can use a platform like ours, Elestio. To deploy it seamlessly on your server or the cloud provider of your choice, we handle the installation, backups, updates and ongoing maintenance, so you can focus on building and scaling your project without any hassle. To start using NADN on our platform, head to ls.io and click on login. Then deploy my first service, search for NADN and select. You have the choice between different cloud providers, regions and service plans based on your need. I will choose Hetzner, keep Europe and 2CP 1.4GB of RAM. Then click on next. You can adjust more advanced settings. Choose between different level of support. The first one is included by default, so I will stick to this one. And once you are happy with your settings, hit the create service button. Once the installation is finished, you will receive this email. Follow the host URL. Because this is the first time you access your instance, you will need to set up your owner account. So type your email, first name, last name and password. Once done, click on next. Then you will be prompted some question to customize your NADN experience. You can skip it by clicking on get started. And there is a time limited offer to receive paid features for free. You just have to click on send me a free license key. For this demo, I will skip it. And we arrive on NADN dashboards. You arrive on the list of workflows if you have any. As we don't, we can either start from scratch or test a ready-to-go AI agent example. It's a great starting point to learn how it works, but because we will see how it works together, we can start from scratch. Click here. And what we want to achieve is a process we can run to generate content ideas. So the first step, what will trigger our workflow, can be either manually if you need to run it multiple times a day, or maybe for us on a schedule, we can make it every morning. But for this specific workflow, it really depends on how you want to work with it. For example, you could make it on chat message and you will ask the AI agent to prepare the IDs for you. For this demo, I will just check trigger manually. So what will start it is when we click here in the bottom test workflow, it will run it. But our workflow is empty. We need to create it. The first node we will add is directly an AI agent. We don't need specific data for it, even if we could, if we need to provide it some data. But in our case, we can just create directly the AI. We need an AI agent. It can either come from what you asked to it if you are building a chatbot, but because we want to run it maybe daily, we should define below and we will write ourselves the prompt. We will do it later. First, let's take a chat model. We have the choice between many models, the most popular ones such as Gemini, Azure or DeepSeek, or even Olama, which means you could have your whole workflow using AI for free and open source, unless you connect it to other tools. For a matter of simplicity in this video, I will choose OpenAI here and we need to connect credentials. Let's create new credential. We need an API key. I already have one. If you do, just paste it here. If you don't, open the documentation. And the best thing about NADN is the documentation quality is very high. And for each provider, when you need credentials, they have guide on how to get the different things you need, such as API keys, secret, and so on. Follow the steps and you will get your API key. I paste mine. I click on save 
and connection tested successfully, it will be able to use my OpenAI account. Then we need to choose between the different models from OpenAI. Pick one you want to use from the list. Check the pricing section on OpenAI to pick the right one for your needs. If it's a process that you use frequently or not, you might be impacted by the pricing or not. For this demo, I will be using GPT-40 Mini. And then we can add a memory if you need it to keep track of the previous execution of your workflow. In our case, it's not important. And you can use tool. We will use it right after. So let's go back to our AI agent and prepare the prompt. Write the prompt based on what you want to do. So first, you are an Instagram channel sharing daily facts based on the date. Edit it based on the content you are doing. If you are an Instagram channel, do it. TikTok, YouTube, anything else works fine. Then we need to give the date to the AI agent because it needs some context. So today is the, but I'm not able to give it the date as I don't have it as an input. So we can instead use an expression and here we can write some JS code. So we can use now and we can format it year, month, day, perfect. So we have the preview here. It should be able to work correctly using that. Can you provide 10 things that happened on different years? Of course, my prompt isn't perfect. It's you to fine tune it to find what works best for you. Then it can be birthdays, death, special events, holidays. Because I guess many, many things happened in the past, we can relate it to our community. So let's say sort them by the most likely to grasp interest from a tech community. And because we will want to output what it generates into a specific format, we can give some indications here. Set the tech interest, which is something we'll define in the output format, to low, medium, or high. So before trying it, let's click on require specific output format. And then in the list here, we'll have access to an output format. You have the choice by auto fixing output parser, which is the most um, accurate one, but it will use AI to fine tune the result over and over a list of item or a fixed JSON format, which is what we will be using here. We want directly an array of item. We know we want a list and inside we'll have the name of the event that happened in the past. Then the type, if it's birthday or anything else. And maybe we will ask for some details, a short version, Z and details long to have more context. We use ZZ so it understands it's longer, maybe. And tech interest with a low, medium, or high, as we asked in the prompt. Now we can close one item of our array and we close our array. Perfect. Our output parser should be fine. Let's try our AI agent so far. So we can call test step. Oh, it's asking me to type a chat message. Oh, I don't want it to be a chat. So we just connect directly to test workflow. Let's do it. We can open our AI agent. And what do we have? So we have the output like this. We can see it in JSON. So we have an array containing the different things. We have name, US patent office established, the birth of Ada Lovelace, what kind of thing it is, it's a birthday. We have a short version about what it is, a long version. So our team could use it to create content. This output, we could use it as is and send it to the Slack channel to the team. So they create content based on those different ideas but we can even simplify the work for them. If we go back, we add another AI agent, search for AI agent, connect it so it will have access to it. For the prompt, we will create it 
ourselves based on the different results we have, we could add an extra step of AI to pick on the one we want or a loop to generate a script for all of them. But instead, I will pick manually one of the different ones. We want the AI to generate a script to create content based on one of the events. So you are a creative tech content creator owning an Instagram account, posting content daily related to the date. Then write a short real script with three to five sequences about, and then we put dynamically something from the previous AI agent. So you can pick an expression and let's say I like this one. So the birth of Ada Lovelace because we already computed some details about it, we can give it to this second AI agent with the following details. So we can give the short and then on another line, the long. So it will have all those details to create content about. And let's define the output format. So require specific output format. Again, the chat model We'll use OpenAI2 with the same one. Perfect. And output parser, structured output parser. Again, it will be an array of items. And we want sequences. So we say the duration of the sequences, for example, 10. Then the B roll, which is uh, images you put in to illustrate what is told on screen. Let's say iPhone for an example. Then voice over, what um, the voice will tell about the story. And it will be also subtitles and audio. If we put a music and ambience sound effect. Perfect. Let's try it. Here we are. We can test our step. It will execute the previous nodes again, so maybe the output one dot name will be different this time. Yep, we got release of the first iPhone. And the output, uh, which one is the easiest to read? Maybe this. So first we have a sequence of five seconds footage of the Apple logo and the crowd at the 2007 announcement event and the voiceover on March 25th, 2007. Apple made history. And then duration between five to 10 clips of Steve Jobs presenting the iPhone on stage as Steve Jobs unveiled the first iPhone. What you can do is send the script to your team, maybe uh, using Slack, a node of Slack, and then they will create the content every morning. Or you can go crazy and use other AI provider to generate the content automatically. So every morning you have um, content produced automatically based on the date in between the two because we are having a list of uh, content. What you can do is add Slack in between. And based on uh, the propositions, you could use uh, votes using emoji from the team and the one with the most vote will be picked to the second AI agent to perform the operation of generating the content. Before finishing, we can go a bit more crazy by giving more context to our AI agent to generate the content. So there are different tools. Uh, it can be other workflows. It can be requests online to be able to do search. We will do it by using the Wikipedia tool. So it will be able to perform a search in Wikipedia. You don't need to set it up. You just have to edit your agent and give it some details. So for example, search on Wikipedia for additional fun facts. If we click on test step, it doesn't work because when I clicked, I broke the connection. So now it's connected again and I can click on test step. So it will process it again and you can see what is happening in real time. And you can see it used Wikipedia. If we go back here, we don't see necessarily a difference, but it's using it to create the content. 
Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed discovering this N8 and AI tutorial with us. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews and video tutorials. If you want to continue your open source journey, watch this video available here.